Good morning, my friends. It is March 11th and I just got up. Hopefully there's nothing weird on my face. Uh, the power is going to be out today. We're going to be working on the electricity uh, throughout our street and that shouldn't be on until probably one o'clock. Um, thankfully it's light. I don't really need my light. I'm at my desk right now. I'm getting ready for my Etsy shop opening and I have I'll show you, let's see. I have my charms pretty much ready to go. Those ones up, those ones up there are done. Uh, now I'm just painting polka dots on some of the gnome houses, toadstool houses. And that's so nerve wracking. I have to do it when the house is quiet um, because otherwise my hand will start shaking because it's such a delicate work and I've been having trouble with my eyes. Um, but it's turning out pretty good. There they are in the process. There are the charms up there. And so my charms are up there and I am painting, finishing up. I just have to finish the toadstools. I need to wax them, get them all polished up with, um, I use like a beeswax that you would put on a butcher board. Um, so it's like food grade beeswax and it's it makes the charm really smooth. Well, as smooth as wood can get, but it just like buffs it up and makes it rich. It just makes it look a lot better. And yeah, I have to go, I have to go to the tooth surgeon today for them to take my stitches out because my stitches are irritating me and causing some like pain and a slight amount of swelling. So he thinks I'm allergic to the stitches. So he's going to take them out instead of waiting for them to dissolve, which I'm so thankful for. So yeah, now I've just got to do the technical stuff. I want to make a video for YouTube to kind of share what I'm working on that my shop's coming up and that they need to sign up to the newsletter to get first dibs and all of that. I really want to do a podcast before St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if I can swing it. I have a trip coming up that I'm really excited about. You might think it's weird. I don't know. I'll tell you in, you know, in a little bit, <laughs> maybe in a few days, but while you're watching this, it'll probably be like the next clip or something. I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, that's kind of why I'm actually doing a shop opening. These charms that I've carved, I carved for last year because I wanted, or was it the year before? I don't remember, but it was a long time ago because I wanted to do a spring opening. And my trip's coming up. I want some extra spending money uh, with my tooth stuff. All of our finances kind of went to my tooth. So we're kind of budgeting and... I just don't want to stress about money. So I'm trying to get this shop opening done before my trip. So maybe I can get a little bit of spending money and gas money for my trip. Um, yeah, so yeah, so today's the stitches out, finish painting. Then I got to do the technical stuff. I got to get my newsletter together. I've got to, I was going to take pictures this morning. I might do that tomorrow. I'm hoping for a Wednesday or Thursday shop opening. That'll give me... If I, if I get any orders done, that get any orders, that'll give me Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday at the latest to do shipping because I leave on Thursday, a week from this Thursday. Uh, yeah. Yes. So in Rebecca fashion, I bit off more than I can chew because I love to do that to myself, <laughs> but I'm doing the mystery knit along for the Muppets. And I don't remember if I told you, but I'll probably talk about it in my podcast. But it's a mystery knit along. The theme is the Muppets and my bag's in the other room. Okay, I'll go get my bag, but let me hang tight. I think I might've mentioned this before, but I hate sewing bags. And I decided I needed a Muppet theme project bag to hold my mystery knit along shawl project. <laughs> um, so I found some Muppet fabric for pretty cheap. I think it was like 12 bucks and I got it and then I bought the fabric. Here's the fabric. And then I went shopping through my stash of solids to go with it, which I don't have a huge, all of my fabric is for different projects. So I don't really have a huge stash of like, any, I can use it for any project. So because of that, I don't have a lot of solid fabrics. I only had green and I was a little disappointed that I had to kind of settle but it actually ended up being perfect i had some saint patrick's day fabric that i used a couple years ago to make a saint patrick's day bag 
And so I had some solid dark green and some solid like Kermit the Frog bright green with sparkles. And I'm like, okay, I'll do that. So I made a bag. I'll link the tutorial down below. It was free, um, but I actually changed the dimensions and I can put a picture of my dimension notes. So if you want to make the same size bag, you can just look at my notes and um, change up the measurements. Uh, for her pattern, she had a free standard size version with a video tutorial, and then you could buy different sizes. And I didn't have the money to buy different sizes. Plus I wanted to customize it to the size that I wanted anyways. So I just kind of made my own sizes up. I made so many mistakes on this bag, but I finished it. Ta-da! What do you think? So I do need to fix it. This, the ribbon channel is too high up. I want it lower. So I'm thinking of after the MCAL, taking it out and kind of lowering it a little bit. So there's more of a ruffle on top to kind of show off the green, the sparkly green, which reminds me of Kermit's neckline. And there's a mistake in the opening where the ribbon goes. I did not open the seams, iron the seams, seams I did not iron the seams flat, so it's all weird and messed up. I kind of need to fix that. Um, and then I made a mistake on the ties. <laughs> I, I didn't tie it in a way where you could just cinch it like this. So I had to waste some uh, ribbon. This ribbon I found it was, it wouldn't have been my first choice, but it's the ribbon I had, and I couldn't bear to make a strap out of fabric. I tried and it was a pain in the neck. Ribbon's way easier. So there it is. I'm really happy with it. It has a box bottom. I did, I measured four inches, I believe. I'll uh, share in my notes, um, but it turned out really good. Big enough for a shawl, I think. Let's open it up and see what I've gotten done so far. I am on clue number two. Make sure I don't mess anything up. I'd say you're getting a sneak peek, but I'm probably going to share this in my podcast, which will come out before this. So you might not get a sneak peek. So I'll just show it really quickly, but. So far, that's what it looks like. Each stitch is a name of a Muppet. So right here is Fozzie Bear for his little, his little ears. And this is supposed to be like the shape of round Muppets. These are supposed to be animals' drumsticks. <laughs> and high, higher up, this is called the Yip Yip Stitch. And I did not know about the Yip Yip Martians from Sesame Street. And now my daughter is addicted to the videos <laughs> and cracks up. So we've been watching a lot of Yip Yip Sesame Street Martian videos, <laughs> which I found a crochet pattern for. So I'm gonna make her a Yip Yip eventually very soon, hopefully, and surprise her. Uh, so that's my mystery knit along Muppet shout, Muppet. My mystery knit along, <laughs> I don't need to say cow because that's what knit along is. My mystery knit along. Okay, starting over. Oh, my hair, oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, starting over. So that was my mystery knit along Muppet themed shawl and bag. Okay, I need to get dressed, uh, ready to go, to go get my uh, stitches out and wake up my daughter and get the day started. So I will see you in the next clip. Hi, so I just posted my video update. Oh, the heater's on, so there's gonna be some noise, but I just posted my update on uh, YouTube about my shop opening. Um, so my shop opening is in two days and I'm having trouble with lighting for photos because the sun is not shining and I have the toadstool houses left to do. So that's what I'm kind of working on now is taking pictures, um, hoping that when it gets brighter in here, I'll run in, take a couple pictures and then go. Cause I'm not doing any professional lighting. I'm just kind of trying to do natural lighting if possible, makes it easier. Um, so I'm going to get started taking photos. I'll show you my setup, pardon the messy desk but here's where I take my photos and I get some nice light coming in from the side there. Not too much shadows. If I have to, I can bring out my light box, but I prefer not to. And that is where I take my photo. Okay, so I was able to get the last of the photos. Although the three heart 
Um, the three heart charms just are not turning out good. The pink doesn't show up, the ballerina pink. It doesn't really show off the sparkles. So I'll just post those photos and if they don't sell, then I'll work harder on getting better photos. But I think I'm good for now for my opening. I've been pretty busy, so I haven't been filming for the monthly vlog, but I wanted to check in and uh, say hey. Um, so when I do my listings, it's important to me that the um, charm that you see is the charm that you get. So if I have multiple charms, like for, for instance, the um, gnome houses, they look very similar. There's some differences, but I to make sure I don't get them mixed up, I on the back write one, two, three, four, and then match it. When I take pictures, I take a picture with the image of one, two, so I can, when I upload it on my computer, I know which toadstool is named what, and then I match that to the back of the card. Does that make sense? I don't know if I'm explaining that good enough. Um, but I have a lot to do to plan my trip, and this is going to bring me some travel money, ex some extra spending money. So that will be nice. Um, it's The shop opening is Thursday. I've sent out my newsletters. I've advertised the best I could. And I've sent you, my friends, a video letting you know how to get information. Um, that's pretty much all I can think of for now. I just have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> Now I think that the pictures are done, I can clean my desk off and start getting ready for shipping things out if I get sales. We'll see if I do. <laughs> um, I'm hoping everyone that wants something will get something. In the past, it's sold out pretty quickly. Within the day, 90% uh, of it sells out in like the first hour. Um, but I would recommend, I mean, it's by the time you get this, it's too late, but... Um, for the future, I'd recommend getting there like two minutes before and refresh. I had an experience once, twice actually, where a seller said, this is the time my shop is, opening is, and they, end up list and they ended up listing it an hour before they said. So that means the people who go to check before get it first, and the people who wait like two minutes before even the time of miss out. And a couple of times I've been disappointed where I will get there at the time and then everything will be sold out. And I'll find out, oh my goodness, she listed it earlier than she said she would. That's happened twice to me. So it's very important that I don't do that. So when I say it's going to be up at a certain time, it will not be before that time. I would rather have it be a little late than too early and have people miss out because they went when I said it was going to be instead of when I really did it. Anyways, off my soapbox. <laughs> um, I just need to start, now that everything is listed, my inventory is wiped out. So that means I need to start carving and I'm hoping to do a charm a day maybe. I don't know if that's realistic. Maybe I could fit in three mushrooms a week. I don't know. <laughs> it takes a while to do these. There's so many steps. Maybe um, sometime soon I'll do a video on all the steps there is to prepare for a charm or for a shop opening and how to get a charm ready it's a lot of steps <laughs> um so anyways okay well i gotta get back to work piggy pearls fozzy bear ears the yip yips Beaker, and oh, I can't remember this one. My friends, it is March 21st, Thursday, March 21st, 
and I am headed out. And I kind of talked about this for a moment um, a little earlier, but I'm going on a trip. I'm going down to Southern California to go to the Little House on the Prairie Festival 50 year anniversary in Simi Valley. So that is where I'm headed. I'm doing a bus tour to see where the show was filmed. I'm going to dress up a little bit. Um, I have a bo couple bonnets and you've seen in the footage and a shawl I made a while ago that I took to the filming set of Dr. Quinn and I made a painting. Hopefully, I'm hoping the celebrities will sign it for me um, and it's just going to be a lot of fun and you're coming with me. I have to go by myself because there's no one to watch the dog and my, while my daughter would love going, I think it might be too much sensory wise. It's three days worth of things and um, I'm getting pictures taken with some of them. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So come along with me and let's head down to Southern California. little place. The Airbnb looks like this used to be the garage and they turned it into a suite so I think that wall might share with the family which makes me nervous like I'm gonna be too loud or maybe they can hear me talking now I don't know <laughs> but it's really nice there's only a yappy dog next door but the owners put her away. Um, yeah so I'm just gonna unload all my stuff and unpack and take a shower and curl my hair and plan for tomorrow. It's an exciting day. Tomorrow's my photo shoot with Allison Arngrim, 
who played Nellie, Nasty Nellie on Little House on the Prairie. And I'm gonna do be, be doing a picture with her and Melissa Gilbert who played Laura Ingalls. And then I'm going to be taking a picture with uh, Dean Butler who played Almanzo or how it's supposed to be pronounced Almanzo. And then I'm taking a picture with Charlotte Stewart, the actor who played um, Miss Beetle. Karen Grassley who played Ma on Little House on the Prairie. I'm taking a picture with her. And then there's a few others I might, we'll see. I depends on what there is to buy. I gotta decide what's more important, pictures, autographs, or what. But I did do a painting inspired by the opening credits of Little House on the Prairie. And I'm hoping that I can get different cast members to sign it, and then I'll frame it and hang it up in my art space or craft, you know, craft area, we'll see. So here's the painting. I'm no professional, but it turned out pretty good considering. Good morning, it is Friday morning. I had an okay night's sleep. The heater wasn't working properly. The shower was horrendous. But other than that, it's a nice place. Um, I am just up for the day, as you can see. I have my hair in curlers. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out when I'm gonna go. It's 7.30. It doesn't open until 10. People are talking about going until getting there like an hour early, which I think is excessive, but I don't wanna stand in line. And what's crazy is it starts at 10, right? They let people in at 10, but the opening ceremony start at 10. Their scheduling's a bit off. You can tell they've never really done something like this before. And I don't think they'll refine it because I doubt they'll do it again because it's for the 50th. So just take it as it comes, go with the flow. Taking pictures today, that's all that really matters. And then uh, everything else will hopefully fall into place. So time to get ready. So the curls are really, really tight. It's hard to tell with different types of water where I live, my curls don't get this tight, which is why I um, can put more curlers in it. These are super tight. That's okay, we can work with it. I took it out early enough so I can brush it a lot and get it to hopefully relax a little bit. <laughs> so I got my hair cut, which I'm sure you've already noticed. And I called my regular haircut person, which I haven't seen in since before COVID. I know it's been that long, so I guess he's not my regular haircutting, but he's the only one I've seen. <laughs> and no response for a week. I, it's terrible. So in the end, I was like, okay, honey. <laughs> so my husband cut my hair just straight across and then rounded a little bit the edges, but doesn't love doing it, and he does an okay job. He does a good enough job, considering he is not a hairstylist. <laughs> He's never done this before. I'm all ready to go. Let me get my bonnet. I just don't have anyone to take a picture of me. I didn't bring a little clippy thing. I got it. Oops. <laughs> Ta-da. Got my bonnet, and I'm ready. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, I'm glad I came when I did. The parking's filling up and there's a long line and it's still a whole hour until we start. And I can't use my selfie stick because those, those aren't allowed in there. So I'm just gonna have to hold my phone up like this. Oh well. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go stand in line.
it's been a day. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go to where the music is. I'm gonna sit down and drink some water. Got a lot of pictures done today. Got some autographs on my painting and I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. Good morning. It is raining outside and guess where I left my umbrella? In the car. Today is tour day of Big Sky Ranch where they film Little House on the Prairie. This is my outfit for today. Got my shoes. I'm ready to go. And my bonnet. Okay, I've got to figure out how to get to the car without getting soaked. It is pouring rain. But I will see you later. Any good episodes you guys have watched lately? Okay, it's been cancelled for today. That's unfortunate. Oh, you guys, my feet are killing me. I stood in line in the rain for the tour, which got cancelled. I'm exhausted. My feet hurt so bad. I have blisters on them. I could barely walk to the car to get my backup shoes. And the autograph line was so long. And yesterday, I didn't realize just how privileged I was to get in so easily and see everything. And I would have taken a lot more videos if I had realized. But I was overwhelmed trying to get to all the different places, figure out what was what. Anyways, enough complaining. I've had a really good weekend, even though it's been rough. I haven't been able to see the panels that I wanted to do. I thought I'd get all these montages of everything. That doesn't seem to be panning out. But I'm in the car. I'm gonna put myself together. It's windy, it's muddy. Put myself together, get different shoes on, and go back out there and pay more attention to panels. And tomorrow, I'll see if I can get my two last autographs. But we'll see. Wish me luck. It couldn't be more than I could ever even imagine. And I'm really appreciative. Thank you. Allison Arndrum. The greatest of all time. So, I just finished a panel and I walked back in the green room and they go, well, you're supposed to be in the other stage. And then they're texting me, bring Jonathan. And I go, I can't because he's not here because you were already over here. On your so, yeah, so here I am. Okay, here's day number three. I still need to put my lipstick on, but I wanted to quickly. Now my lipstick's on. What do you think? I'm here. I got all the autographs I needed. I got all the autographs I needed. I wish I had someone here to take a photo of me. If my husband was here, I could be blossom around and tell him how I want it done. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm still having a good time. Today's a lot better than yesterday. I planned well. I got here early. I knew what to expect. There's a lot of unhappy people here though. But I'm trying to make the best of it and I'm having a really good time now. Hopefully I'll be able to do the bus tour today. We shall see. Okay. Bye. Hi. Hi. Hi.
the house. It'll be on the left, and across the road is the hill from the opening um, where we have the mannequins representing the girls running down there. visiting Big Sky Ranch where the show was filmed and it was just an amazing experience. <laughs> Hi, my friends, it is the end of March and I'm just about to wrap up my March diary, but before I closed out, I wanted to share a fun surprise I got in the mail. A friend online, Caitlin, sent me some goodies and it was just so nice. I couldn't wait to show you guys. She sent me this sweet little note and it's actually, it's on paper. Um, note paper from an artist that I follow and I can't remember her name. I think it's like Kate or Katie. I don't remember, but look at the cute painting. It's just such a sweet little note cute little mouse, little purse, Southern Sparrow handmade it's from. It's so sweet. And some tea. I love tea. Look at this bag. It's so beautiful. Oh. 
Isn't this just the cutest bag ever? Box bottom, toadstools, polka dot, red polka dot. It's perfect, it's my favorite. I love red polka dots and I love toadstools. It is so cute. It is so beautiful and so cute. Oh, I love it, thank you. And look, she got this for Faith. Oh, Faith is gonna love this. This is cool because you could do three. See, a bunny, a seal, and a cockatoo. <laughs> so fun. She's gonna have a blast. Thank you, my friend. That's so sweet. It really, like, I started crying when I was reading your note. It really meant a lot. I was like, okay, I gotta get my composure before I tell all, everyone about the goodie I got in the mail. So thank you. It really means a lot. Right now, I'm in my backyard. It's a beautiful day, not super bright. The sun's not shining, it's a little overcast, but and it's cold, but it's, it's nice and bright outside. This right here is where I sort through my mom's things. So I'm hoping to have a garage sale to sell some of the things she doesn't need um, to help with her care, that makes some money for her care. So we'll see how that goes. So little by little, I get stuff out of her house that she doesn't need, a lot of crafting things. Um, if if she has things like ribbon and things like that, she'll destroy it. So I'm trying to get to it before she does. <laughs> so it's while it's still sellable. But so it's the end of March. April's coming. And I can't believe April's here. Easter is Sunday and I'm not prepared for that. I still have a few things to do to prepare and get ready for Easter. But I hope you all have a good Easter. And I will see you in my next April Diary. Thank you.